Yes, so welcome back to the revision class of business studies. Our chapter going on is form, chapter two forms of business organization. And today we are going to study the part two chapter. So first chapter is business organization. 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 Has been given new importance and a new concept of the business has been formed. That is called partnership. Okay. So partnership was seen as a viable option for the problems or disadvantages of the sole proprietorship. So partnership serves as an answer to the needs of greater capital investment, varied skill, and sharing of the risk. All the disadvantages and problem of the sole proprietorship has given rise to the concept of partnership. definition so partnership is an association of the person who have agreed to share the profits of the business carried on by all or any of them acting for all carried on by all means everybody will work for the common benefit of the enterprise that is earning of the profit and any of them acting for all means if there are four partner it's not necessary that all four will go at one time at one all four will go at one place it may be represented so there is a relationship of principal and agent it's a mutual agency clear so the person individually are called partners collectively a firm and the name under which business is carried on is called firm name this is the legal definition of the partnership according to the section 4 of indian partnership act 1932 so whenever the word come define partnership you have to exactly write the definition written in the law always remember our subject is governed by the certain laws so whenever any legal definition is given you have to write that only you are not supposed to alter even a comma Remember this thing. Features. So partnership form of first point is formation. So it's very easy to form uh, form a partnership. Minimum two percent is required to form partnership, and it is governed by the Indian Partnership Act, nineteen thirty two. It comes to an existence through a legal agreement that the terms and condition governing the relationship among the partners, that is sharing of profit, losses, and the manner of conducting the business are specified. They yeah, are written in a legal document called partnership deed. The agreement may be oral or it may be in written also. Okay, yeah. so minimum two persons. Minimum two persons. And maximum is fifty according to companies amendment act two thousand thirteen. Minimum two and maximum fifty. So this is called the formula. Liability here the liability of the partner is unlimited. This means. In case of emergency or the payment of the debt, their personal asset will also be held responsible. Clear? Third is risk bearing. The partnership, the partners bear the risk involved in running the business as a team. The reward comes in the form of profit, which are shared by the partners in agreed ratio. How will they also share the losses? So, in order to bear the risk for profit, they decide their ratios. How the profit will be shared and how the losses will be shared. So, same is the case with the risk bearing. Okay. Next is decision making. So decision making is done with the consultation of all the partner because it's a joint act. Several liability. So decision are generally taken with the mutual consent. Thus, the activity of the partnership are managed through a joint efforts of all the partners. Okay. Continuity. So partnership suffers the problem of continuity if any. Person dies, retire or die, a partnership may comes to an end. 
साउथ में तो रिमेनिंग पार्टनर एक देशों के साथ कंटिन्यू द बिजनेस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ न्यू एग्रीमेंट क्लियर नंबर ऑफ पार्टनर्स सो दिस आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस मिनिमम टू इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द कंपनीज अमेंडमेंट एक्ट एंड फोर सेक्शन फोर सिक्सटी फोर ऑफ द कंपनीज एक्ट मैक्सिमम पार्टनर एंड पार्टनरशिप कैन कैन बी हंड्रेड बट एट प्रेजेंट द मैक्सिम नंबर इज फिफ्टी ओनली सो यू रिमेम्बर दिस थिंग ऑनली मिनिम टू एंड मैक्सिम फिफ्टी यार वन मोर वर्ड इज देयर म्यूचुअल एजेंसी म्यूचुअल एजेंसी मीन्स टूगेदरनेस सो ऑल पार्टनर्स आर वर्किंग टूगेदर सो ए फॉर्म ऑफ or a sense of mutuality shall be developed among them if they are not able to develop the sense of mutuality it's not possible for them to work in a good manner so development of the mutual agency is very necessary next is marriage first is ease of formation and closer so it's very easy to form a partnership you can form an agreement agreement may be oral or written also minimum two members is required and maximum 50 is required There is no compulsion with respect to the registration of the firm. Closure of the firm is too easy. It's a very easy task. Next is balance decision making. Yeah. What is happening in sole proprietorship? There is only one person who is taking the decision. Sometimes it's very difficult to take the hard decision, but in partnership more than one person are there. Sometimes three to four or five partners are there. So when five minds are working on one problem, it's very easy to have a balanced decision making. More points, definitely. When more person are uh, entering into the business, you will have a more point, more. Uh, you can take more risk. More profit you will have. So as I told you, all the drawbacks of the sole proprietorship has given birth to the partnership. Because in order to join the business, every partner will be bringing certain amount of the fund as capital. Next is sharing of the risk. The risk is shared by all the partners according to the ratio decided amongst them. Clear? That is what PSR profit sharing ratio. The word loss has not been included, but definitely the sharing profit you will share losses also. So share will be equally uh, borne by all the partners or as it has been decided amongst them. Clear? Next topic is point is secrecy. So secrecy or secrecy can be easily maintained in partnership act as the principle of full disclosure is not applicable over here. so uh, partnership firm is not supposed to publish his or her bank books of accounts to the public or required to be published in the newspaper so secrecy can be easily maintained in partnership next of it is limitation limitations The biggest limitation which a partnership faces is unlimited liability. Every partner is bound by this concept, unlimited liability. This simply means in case of requirement of the payment of debt or any liability, their personal asset will also be held. This principle. Limited resources. It's not necessary. That the partnership firm may always have plenty of money. They may also suffer from the problem of limited resources.
नेक्स्ट पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ कंप्लेक्स या दिस में अराइज व्हेन डेफिनेटली व्हेन मोर पर्सन जॉइन द पाउंड मोर माइंड्स आर वर्किंग पर्सन विद द डिफरेंट माइंड सेट आर जॉइनिंग द पाउंड सो इट्स वेरी इजी दैट देयर मे बी द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ कंप्लेक्स अमंग द पार्टनर लैक ऑफ कंटिन्यूटी This is also the biggest factor. Lack of continuity of the bond. Whenever any effective partner or person dies, retires, or becomes insane or becomes impossible to join him in the business, the partnership form may come to an end. However, if they wish, they can continue with the remaining partner and capital. Lack of con public confidence. to publish their book so back out in the newspaper so sometime what happens lack of public confidence may arise you know because they are not submitting or publishing their reports to the public so lack of public confidence arises in their businesses yeah our next topic is types of partner types of partner so number one is active partner active partner are those partner who voluntary take uh, or voluntary takes or participate in the day to day affair of the business so generally partnership work is done by active partner who bring his capital who is involved in day to day management or the affair of the business next is sleeping or dormant dormant means not active that person is giving his name or and capital to the business but he is not like a active partner he is not involved in the day to day day to day management of the firm next is secret partner secret partner is that partner whose identity is unknown to the public or to the firm okay na whose association with the firm is unknown to the general public or the other he is a partner like all other partner he is also bringing the capital but maybe he is not participating in day to day affair of the firm so maybe he is more or less similar to sleeping or dormant partner next is nominal nominal partner a nominal partner is the right partner who generally gave his name to the public or allows the use of his or her name by the firm but does not contribute to the capital he or she does not take active part in managing the firm does not share profit or losses but is liable like other partners to the third parties for repayment of debt next is partner by estoppel it's a very good concept estoppel means to stop a person is considered partner by estoppel if he through his or her own yes he conduct or behavior he she gives an impression to others that he or she is a partner in a reputed firm and nobody is estopping 
here partnership partner by estoppel means a one person is claiming that he or she is a partner in the firm and nobody is there who is refusing his or her claim okay in such a situation such partners are held liable for the debts of the firm because in the eyes of the third party they are considered partners even they do not contribute capital or take part in the management okay so if any person is claiming himself or herself as a partner in the firm and nobody is there who is stopping or denying his claim or her claim in the case of liability or she cannot refuse to the third party that he or she is not a partner in that firm that concept is called partners by estoppel next is partner by holding out okay what is happening here a business firm is claiming that that person is a partner in the firm and partner is not refusing the claim of partnership firm again in case of liability here the partner cannot refuse the claim of that firm or the third party that he or she is not a partner in the firms immediate refusal is required immediate denial is required in both the cases what is happening by partners by estoppel here the partner is claiming that he or she is a partner in a firm and firm is not denying his claim here what is happening a firm is claiming that he or she is a partner in our firm and that person is not denying the claim so in both the situation whenever a liability arises that uh, liability arises then partner cannot deny the claim of third party because in the eyes of the law and for the general public he or she is a partner in the firm so this is called types of partner or partner by holding out so there are six type of partners next is types of partnership types of partners so there are two sources of that on the basis of duration and on the basis of liability So on the basis of duration, again it is of two type at will and will means will of the partner. So whenever they desire or the time up to which they want to continue the business, they will continue. The moment they think that it is not good to continue the business, they will. dissolve the firm so this is called partnership at will here particular partnership means they are connected for one particular purpose or for the completion of venture in other words it is also known as joint venture okay they are uh, collected together for one particular purpose or project the moment it is over they are going to dissolve the firm or going to separate their business or for a specified time period this is called particular partnership okay on the basis of liability again it is of two type that is for general partnership and particular partnership what is general partnership a general partnership means here the liability of the partner is unlimited and joint the partner enjoys the right to participate in the management of the firm and their acts are binding on each other as well as on the firm registration is optional as usual 
the existence of the bond is affected by the death unit in melts or retirement of the partnership okay next is this one is particular it is for limited partnership what is the meaning of limited partnership this is based on american concept which is for llc limited liability partnership actually this form of partnership has been developed in a case where one person is damn sure of his success so he claims that one person will have unlimited liability clear one person will possess unlimited liability and rest of the partner will possess limited liability this is an american concept and it is called llc limited liability partnership this form of partnership are not permitted in india but the permission to form this partnership with limited liability has been grant granted after the introduction of uh, a new enterprise policy in 1991 when lpg policies was going on the idea behind such a move has been to enable the partnership firm to attract equity capital from friends and relative of small scale entrepreneurs who were earlier reluctant to help due to the existence of unlimited liability clause in the partnership form of the business clear so i hope this revision class will help you if you have any doubt then let me know thank you happy learning